In a reversal of their usual role, firefighters from the West Yorkshire Brigade are getting ready to set fire to a block of flats in Cleckheaton. They're doing it to try to save lives. The only thing which keeps people alive when fire occurs is early detection and early suppression. Fire services are very, very good at putting fires out, but I'm afraid we only manage to put them out when the people have already died or suffered terrible injury if they haven't been aware at the beginning. We can engineer that death out of buildings. One of the devices Malcolm Saunders believes will engineer death out of buildings is automatic sprinklers. Had they been installed at Woolworths, it would have been a different story. And this is why. In four minutes from the start of the fire, just one sprinkler head has put it out. The room's wet, but largely undamaged. And more importantly, anyone in the room at the time would be safe. Without sprinklers, that room would look something like this. Some 5,000 miles away from Cleckheaton, the inhabitants of one US city know all about the effectiveness of automatic sprinklers. What we have here is typical residential construction here in our community. As you can see, it's wood frame, very lightweight, very flammable. The difference being that in every house and every building in Scottsdale, we put in sprinkler systems. That's the gray pipe system with the orange caps that you see. Underneath the orange caps is a sprinkler head, which will end up in every room to provide fire protection for that room. In the mid-1980s, as the community of Scottsdale expanded across the Arizona desert, the local voters took a far-sighted decision. Instead of paying for an ever-growing network of fire stations, firefighters and fire engines, they decided to do something which might prove cheaper and safer. In 1985, they voted for a new law. It said that any house built in Scottsdale must have automatic sprinklers. It's made a dramatic difference. We know for a fact in this past 10 years that we saved at least eight people's lives, at least, that's the very minimum. And we had about 150 fires in sprinkler buildings. And we had a fire loss that equaled less than the price of one house in the city of Scottsdale in all of those fires. One person who owes her life to Scottsdale's far-sighted legislation is teenager Rachel Mizio. I was getting ready to go to my dance camp when I had a candle lit in a wicker bookshelf. I turned around and I saw the whole candle and bookshelf engulfed in flames. There was smoke and fire going up the wall and over. And that's when I decided it was time to get out and go get my mom and my sister. Well, I came down the hall to see what was going on and the smoke in this room was so bad, the fire had spread so quickly that I couldn't see the fire burning just across the room. I um, shut the door and got out and we called the fire department from outside of the house. Um, I didn't realize it at the time, but the sprinklers were already on. It was already putting the fire out. My child was in a room that was on fire. I could have lost her. Scottsdale's success in saving lives in burning buildings is undoubted. But if it's to be repeated around the world, Jim Ford believes we're going to have to change our ways. We have to do something ahead of time. We cannot keep addressing the problems after they've occurred. Because if you pay attention around the world, they just keep occurring over and over again. And at some point, we have to stop that. 